Aloha and Happy New Year. I'm on my way out to go grab some more things because we have some guests coming over and I wanted to do another Huna tip. A lot of you had emailed me and posted in Facebook that these Huna tips are very powerful and helpful. And so I wanted to give you another one which I thought would be very appropriate for the new year. It's on forgiveness and this is something that I know pretty well. It's what I researched to get my PhD in psychology and it's the new year. It's a time for wiping the slate clean. It's a time for starting over and really creating that new fresh relationship. And I bet you it would feel really good at the end of this year to look back and say, I really did make that relationship amazing. I really did do everything I can to really enhance that connection with that one person, the person that you want to forgive. Now, in the research that I did, the two biggest obstacles to even wanting to forgive in the first place are things that we should talk about first. The first obstacle is that forgiveness somehow means you're going to become best friends with that person who wronged you. That's just not the case. In ancient times here in Hawaii, when forgiveness, by the way, which was required, was to take place, you knew that if the person had wronged you, that really you weren't going to become best friends with them by forgiving them. By forgiving them, you can then make the decision. Do I want this person in my life? Do I want to continue a relationship? Or do I want to move on? And by forgiving first, what you're doing is you're wiping the slate clean. And then you're saying goodbye, but you can say it from your heart. You can say it from a positive standpoint. The second thing that was the really big obstacle to forgiving is why. Why forgive in the first place? That was also known here in Hawaii. It's because forgiveness only hurts one person. It hurts you. By holding on to that unforgiveness, by holding on to that feeling of, I want to get that person back. I want to avoid that person. I want to get that revenge, that grudge. You only hurt one person by not forgiving. And that's you. By forgiving, you are actually enhancing your health. And in the research that I did, I had to look at other studies that had been done. And it's clear, unforgiveness, unforgiveness, which is that revenge or avoidance motivation, it increases your stress levels. That affects the body. It's bad for the heart, for the immune system. And so for you, for your sake, be ready to forgive. Now, although I teach a process called Ho'oponopono, it's tough to do that in a quick little you know, five minute Huna tip here. So I want to give you one quick tip. And that tip is in your gatherings during the holiday season with your friends and family, with the people that you're going to be contacting here in the new year. Let's for the new year, cut out the word, I'm sorry. I'm sorry is a statement of being. If I say to you, I'm sorry, your response might be, well, you are a sorry. <clears throat> anyway, saying sorry is it ends. It doesn't go any farther than your breath. And it states how you are as a being. Here in Hawaii, in the ancient language, there was no word for I'm sorry. The Hawaiian phrase, e kalamai iau, means please forgive me. Try that on for a second. In your mind, say, please forgive me. I forgive you too. You see how that creates a connection? That creates a movement, an energy. What it does is by saying, I forgive you, please forgive me too. It takes the ball, puts it in the other person's court, and then they, in turn, give it back to you. See, forgiveness is a process. It's not something that you are going for and you're done. There was a, a woman in my Newport Beach weekend training last year, and she said, um, I've done this ho'oponopono. I, I feel all forgiven now. Will I ever have to do it again? And I said, the equivalent of what you're asking is, I just ate a salad. I'm feeling really like I've eaten some healthy food. Will I ever have to eat healthy food again? And I think you guys know the answer to that. The answer is no. You need to continuously eat healthy. You need to continuously maintain your focus. You need to really learn how to focus in on who and what you are, why you are here, and what you are doing right now. And so take forgiveness as a process and realize that in every interaction, you can say, 
please forgive me, I forgive you. Even when there's nothing to forgive, because you never know when you have crossed that boundary for another person. And by doing that, it wipes the slate clean and allows you to become honno, to become right with yourself and right with others around you. Take that idea, that concept into the new year, and I'll look forward to joining you again in another Huna tip. Oh, by the way, if you'd like to, you can contact our office, info at huna.com. We do have a couple of CDs on the forgiveness process. If you haven't had a chance to try it yet, you can contact our office and we can help you get one of those CDs so that you can do the actual process that I studied in my research. Aloha, take care, and a hui ho.